I think you can see acts of leadership in every street. I'll tell you why. Because street is reality. You see, um, I'm going to use two metaphors now that, are, that can be seen as opposites. Huh? They're not really opposite, but you'll get what I'm saying. There's the ivory tower and there's the street. The ivory tower, that's a metaphor for people who are living in a bubble that is maybe constructed from thoughts and thinking and it's confined to few conceptual in many ways but there's also the street where the reality is happening where reality is happening it's like the difference between theory and practice so you can't be you can't go to any street where there's no leadership street is reality street is the theater of survival streets are the theater of opportunities from the streets of Tehran to the streets of India to the streets of Manhattan to the streets of London to the streets of Cairo to the streets of Beirut you name it these are theaters of survival and of growth because it's like a small jungle not in a negative way you know when you go to jungle to a jungle where wild you know animals live this is this is the this is this is as far as reality can go you can't create your own rules jungle is jungle that's the rule of life there you don't know how to maneuver yourself you get eaten hmm? so you can't take rules to the jungle at least it's if it's a big jungle otherwise it becomes a zoo street is the same thing streets are the same thing they have their own rules and it's the rules of reality if you don't know how to survive in the street then street you will disappear because there's no mercy street will crush you because this is where things happen so that's what that's what important about streets if you can make it in the street then you can make it everywhere L like they say if you make it in new york they can make it anywhere because what's in new york it's, it's, it's the street culture at least in terms of culture and even if, if you go to you know if you're even in the office in major corporate uh, companies it's also a street culture because of the competition sharks inside the water and sharks outside the motor not in a negative way but in terms of the intensity of competition so you have to have the, these instincts alive so that you can survive and so that you can create opportunities or capture opportunities and it's full of smart people like you most probably even smarter than you have more drive have more energy have more experiences maybe more courage more um, hunger within them bigger dreams you know all of these are around you and they're all on the same race so you either be crushed or you learn from them there is so much there is so much that you can learn about leadership from being in the streets or being street smart so much I'll name few to survive and grow meaning to survive and capture opportunities in the street you need to be aware of your surrounding leadership is the same thing you can't exercise leadership if you're not aware of your surrounding if you're not in touch with your reality if you don't read your reality in an accurate way you can't live in illusions street is not a dream leadership is not a dream is reality and it's a difficult and harsh and messy and complicated reality sometimes violent full of conflict so being street smart requires that you're aware of your surrounding your environment and that's exactly what you need to do when you exercise leadership otherwise it, you will suffer and you will fail so when you're in the street you need to project self-confidence the street has no mercy 
you've seen movie where somebody is walking in the street and they're like people standing on the on the corner of the street and if they look at his eyes or her eyes and they see lack of confidence then it's like an invitation come and attack me or rob me so you cannot afford in the street not to show confidence not to show that you can take care of yourself you can defend yourself because hesitation and weakness in the street they will get you they will get you consumed and devoured by a bully or by somebody who's looking for an opportunity it's the same thing in leadership if you don't project confidence underline project you don't have to have confidence from inside I mean if you have it that's great but sometimes you don't have it but you need to project it you need to act as if you're confident and for that you need to work on yourself you need self leadership you need encouragement and other stuff but you need to project confidence in both cases in the street and when you exercise leadership otherwise you will not make it in both environments in on the street you need to have what people call emotional intelligence some people don't like this term bottom line you need to know how to mingle with the society you need to know how to blend you need to know how to become part of the street so that you can be effective you need to know how to blend you can't be a tourist in the street you can be but you'll be a tourist the, trees, the street at least will deal with you as a tourist but if you want to be an effective member in the street you know have business grow be an entrepreneur uh, successful you know activity live there and live off the street then you have to know how to blend the same thing in leadership you can't exercise leadership if you don't know how to blend within the environment that you're trying to mobilize in the street you cannot be intimidated you cannot be scared you can be scared but at least you don't need to you can't let being scared paralyze you because that will finish you so no place for intimidation you will be intimidated you will, now some people will try to intimidate you but you can't allow this to happen because you will be making yourself available to their aggression or bullying or competition same thing in leadership you will be facing resistance you will be facing opposition you can't be allowing yourself to be intimidated otherwise you give up so you have to keep moving forward in the street you have to back off people sometimes you have to get people you know push people away when they when they try to uh, infringe or penetrate into your boundaries and it will happen because you know imagine manhattan imagine street of india imagine street of cairo of tehran of beirut of 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 syria hmm? so so imagine all of that so you need to when people step into your territory you have to tell them back off and in leadership is the same thing because in leadership you're in the eye of the storm and people try to step into your territory and sabotage what you're doing you need to tell them back off in the street you can't give signs of weakness they will eat you alive metaphorically speaking leadership the same thing you can't show signs of weakness how can you inspire motivate mobilize others give them hope and confidence if you are shaking if your knees are shaking at least visibly so you can show weakness in the streets you have to be aware of risks so you have to be brilliant in risk taking very good calculator of risk because it's a dangerous place all the streets is about it's all about risk because so many people are there for you know for resources for survival for opportunities competition at its highest same thing with leadership it's a very risky enterprise you need to calculate your risk and you need to be aware of your risk hmm? in the streets you need to pick up your fights and make sure that you don't engage in unnecessary conflict you don't do that in the streets you avoid conflict as much as you possibly can some cases no you have to go you know fight to the finish and maybe sometimes you have to start the conflict yourself if it's a survival issue to defend yourself or your business or your family or your entity leadership you have to do the same thing you have to pick up your fights because fighting is costly fighting uh, fighting um, takes uh, consumes resources 
and you might get scratched or damaged or wounded same thing so you only fight the necessary fight in the streets you have to you have to know how transparent you want to be if you're not discreet if you're not discreet in the streets then you become vulnerable to people and same thing in leadership you can't just can you can't just be transparent to everybody and you know show all your cards you have to be smart you know politically smart so that you know what to keep within you and what to expose and if you want to expose something you do it at the at the right time hmm? in the streets you need to have a plan when you go in the street in the morning you have to have a plan where you're going what you're doing traffic jam no traffic jam how do you maneuver all of that what do you do how do you businesses negotiation all of that same thing in leadership you need to have plans and you need to be in the planning process you need to trust your guts in the street you need to trust your instinct that has kept you alive through your you know human species for generations and generations Right? So you need to trust your instinct. In leadership, you need to do the same thing. Not everything is rational. Not everything is conscious. So many things are subconscious. And that relates to instinct, to gut. So you need to trust that. So all of these are parts of, it, part of what being in um, the street is all about. It's being smart street, or street, sorry, being street smart, um, is essential to your survival in the street if you're in business if you're an entrepreneur if you're part of strong competition we need to have you need to be street smart it's exactly the same thing in leadership you need to be street smart in terms of practical intelligence now be smart at all level be book smart street smart conceptually smart theoretically smart i mean if you put the word smart next to it try to be as smart as possible in every possible way but because leadership is about dealing with mess because leadership is about conflict confusion uncertainty fight competition of ideas mobilization rejection attacks counter attacks boundaries defending boundaries violating boundaries all of this is part of the universe of leadership you need to acquire sim similar 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 skills right that also exist in the streets or these are the skills that both being in the surviving the street and exercising leadership share in the end it's about having whatever you need to survive and grow in any environment street or no street because you have one purpose to stay alive and to make the best out of your life through growing at all possible levels for that you need skills for that you need knowledge for that you need attitude so look at around look around you and look at your environment Wherever it takes so that you can survive and grow you and people around you your loved ones your community in that environment acquire those skills because it varies from place to place it varies from condition to condition from context to context but you need to have the necessary components otherwise you can make it and that's the story of life. Be strong. Because what's the alternative? Be weak? What happens to weak people? Life will break them. That's what happened. Weak means you're vulnerable to being broken. That's what weak means. So that's why my message is be strong. Because life favors the strong. Now, when I'm talking about being strong, there's so many ways of being strong there's intellectual strengths there's you know physical strengths there's financial strengths there's strengths in you know in creativity there's spiritual strengths there's emotional strengths there's mental strengths there's psychological strengths there's social strengths there's you name it there's 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 scientific strengths I mean, you name it 
whatever it is in any components of life be strong be strong non-negotiable and your survival and growth will depend and success will depend on how strong you are so people on the streets or people at home regardless of your circumstances if there's one message is to be strong you have no other alternative because to be strong it means to be to live at least increasing your chances of life the alternative you're done